Hey. West Virginia has been waiting all yeah, week West for Virginia. this one. Get ready, folks. The opening Oregon. kickoff is finally here. You want to watch it, watch it. Excellent kick. I broadcast my season as I go just to entertain myself. And it goes into the end zone, down for a oh, touchdown. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Seminoles were ranked number 10. They proved to be most deserving of that lofty spot. And for FSU, their season starts with a win. They'll go to work at the 25. We've got a first and 10. The ball pops free. Recovered by the offense. Yep, and this is why you need to know where the ball is at all times. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. So after review, oh. they decide that this call That's should be fair. reversed. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 26. Option right side. They'll knock him down for a loss. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. I'm telling you, every yard you gain is earned, and those were about as tough as they come. Third and nine. Ball on the 26-yard line. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Rock down at the 35-yard line. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. From their own 35-yard line, first down. Brown off the right side. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Once and all, going deep. Nope. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. The intimidation factor is definitely here. We're in your... Tackle around the 46-yard line. They've got a solid drive going here. But I know it's not going to mean that much without putting some points up on the board. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run. They got the better of them that time. And this is the eighth play of the drive. It's recovered. That's right. That was a user. Use him. He's at the and 30. I'm going to go in for the touchdown. Yeah. To the 10. He leaps in for six. Defensive touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift. This is a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it the distance. He makes the PAT. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, wait till you see the action in Athens. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Georgia, a very lethargic performance so far. If they don't watch out, they're going to be in a world of hurt. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense will start at the 25-yard line. And he's tackled at about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. 
Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Knocked out of bounds at the 30. That's a game of three on the play. From their own 30-yard line, it's third down. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd go. is always into it here. Drops back to pass. He throws left. And a nice catch nice. there before he stepped out of bounds. He showed you right there why a defense can never lose tabs on him. Take your eye off him in coverage, and he'll create a big play. From their own 41-yard line. First down. Fumble. They fall on it. He's tackled at the 40. A lot of guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks, and the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football. They'll set up shot at the 40-yard line. West Virginia is up seven. Everybody. Childress, back to pass. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes at the 19. Now that's how you run a corner route. He exploded out of his cut and beat the man coverage for a new set of downs. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19. Up the middle for a nice game. From the 13-yard line, it's second down. He gets another carry. Tackle made at the three-yard line. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Play fake and looking to run. Throws it and it's caught for the touchdown. I may have to end this broadcast early. I mean, there ain't no point in me doing this. I mean, he splits the him. uprights with the extra point. So a short three play, 18 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He puts it deep downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll start this drive at the 25. Robinson on the right side. Nice game. By the way, this online right dynasty is run by Xbox Live Sports League.com. This have spent a lot of my free time. If you were interested in joining any leagues. They're about four yards away here the on second down. They'll work the right side. Oh, shit. And he's taken down at about the 45. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Let's check in on the SEC where you have to be a burner to be a playmaker. Let's take a look at this one again. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. They'll go ground, and they make the stop at the 43. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. They'll work the left. He's at the 30, gets out to around the 25. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. First and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. This might be a longer in-game broadcast than expected. Makes it out to about the 24-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 24. They'll give it 
off here. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. They can't hear a thing down there. He drops back, and here's a quick throw. Got his tight end touchdown. Nice. That was my fault. I'm gonna be at disadvantage. You guys are gonna see some weakness. Watch me, but oh well. If y'all do, I'm gonna buy a product. And he adds it. the extra point. Lynch has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Oh man, he took him down hard. They'll start at the 29. West Virginia is up a score. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's tackled after positive yardage. A five yard pickup by the halfback on the misdirection. Second down and five. Ball on their own 34. Not. He airs it out. No, incomplete. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese, let's take you down to Athens Town. It's third and five. Ball on the 34-yard line. And it looks like they're going to change it up here. And a quick throw. And they push him out at the 37. Excellent job here by the defense. They sniffed that one out before it turned into a first down. Thomas, back to return it. He gets it off, and it's very high in the air. Fields it, and the ball is loose. The defense falls on him. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily, that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. First and ten. Ball on the 24. Great punt. Let the ball hang in there for him. Throws it. Oh, shit. That close to being intercepted. That could have been I need a to stop playing up close. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. He makes it to the 25-yard line. That's a game of one the play. We're through one quarter. The Mountaineers with a touchdown lead. Third down, nine to go. Ball on their own 25. Crowd a huge factor here. He guns it right side. Incomplete, almost picked off. Thompson is back deep to return. Taken down at the 42-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. West Virginia up seven points. Looks over the middle and it's picked off. Brought down at the 34-yard line. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback Damn. has to know where the safety oh, yeah, is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. Yeah, I just figured he'd be over. I didn't even know. Onto the fullback, and he can't pull it in. Rogers, the intended receiver on the play. That makes From the 34-yard line, 
Second down. Brown on the inside handoff, and he tackles him hard at the 32-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. The offensive line has got to do a better job of making space because that was just a punishing hit. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. And this crowd is going crazy. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. I thought they did a good job of reading the play and positioning themselves well to break up the pass. Really? I'm going to go for it right here. All right. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Oh, and off on. inside. They'll bring him down. And a Fourth and eight. And they run the yard line. Come on, computer. The cheese and as it is, should do a field goal. But damn, we gotta be that crazy. The offense will take over at the 29 yard line. Makes the catch and look out. He's taken down at the 35 yard line. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Here's an opening, and he's tackled at the 46. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. From their own 46-yard line, first down, West Virginia is up by a touchdown. There's a strike complete. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 49. From the 49-yard line, second down. And he's going to come up with a sack. Uh, that was a good day. I had nowhere to throw the ball. I'm kind of happy he got that sack. That brings up 3 and 12. All about the four something. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Stay on my receivers like that. Oh, man. It's okay. Going deep, lays it out there. It's okay. And he holds it in. This offense just has so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. And he converts the extra point. So a fourth play, 66-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. I get about four scores. And he got all of this one. I'm going to end the broadcast at the end. He's to the 10. He's no to the 20. And he just got stood up right there. Returns 25 yards. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. Nothing can impact an offense more negatively than being stopped on a series of downs. And that's what happened to this offense the last time they were out. It's not just the quarterback's job to try to get this offense going. I think it starts up front with a veteran offensive line. See what kind of leadership they have to try to change this thing around. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Him down in the backfield. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's have a look at what's going on in Chapel Thrill. This one was tight. From their own 21 yard line, third down. The crowd is really letting him hear it. He sails it low. Nope. And it's intercepted. And who else? It's the senior safety. He's tackled around the 48-yard line. Brad, I'm going to put that one on the quarterback. I think he's forcing the issue out there. I understand you're down a couple scores and you're trying to get back into the game, but you can't get it all back at once. You've got to be patient, take your time, and methodically work yourself back as a team back into this game. Childress to throw. He's on the run. He might not be able to get the pass off. Ooh. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. 
Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. They don't cover the deep ball. I will see it. Drop Shit. back to pass. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle at the 43-yard line. They're holding my guys at the line, game. Come on, look at that shit. Damn. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. I like the, the strategy. Safety help. And down he goes at about the 43-yard line. Oh, my other wide receiver at the line. That'll bring up fourth and one. I guess I got a punt here. Uh, uh, I'll be nice. Fowler is waiting for the snap. Plenty of hang time on this one. And he's tackled at the 19-yard line. Ooh. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. I agree. There's no way I, I didn't get to them the last one. From their own nine yard line. It's first down. And he's taken down at the 10. From their own 10 yard line. It's second down. gets rid of it. They line up at the 10. It's third down. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. He drops back. Passes to the wide out and he can't pull it in. Lynch to punt. Thompson takes it at the 49. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. Excellent field position to start the drive. Uh, let's not have any holding here, please. There you go. And they make the stop oh, at that's about the 33 yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Tackle made at the 30 yard line, and they keep it on the ground for the first down. Nothing too fancy here. The key is that the running back was able to convert the first down. From the 30 yard line. First down. Gets a snap, and here comes the defense. Why is he falling? Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. They bring him down in the backfield. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. And he might want it all here and done. He's got a touchdown. He makes his second touchdown grab of the game. I'm bad for those QB. Two passes, two touchdowns. It usually doesn't matter who's covering him. He always seems to find a way to get open and make a catch.
Gonna be a, vet, a beast next season. He splits the uprights with the extra point. West Virginia to kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll set up shop at the 25. Back to pass. Here comes the pressure. He chucks it Hell down no. the field. Oh boy, almost intercepted. Robinson, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Goes quick to the receiver and falls incomplete. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. And he is drilled at the 26. West Virginia is going to use their first time out of the half here. Lynch awaits the snap. The 42. Return for a game of five yards. Try again. Field goal range, real quick. They'll go to work at the 42 Snake yard line. Snakers! None of them can cover any one of my wide receivers. What? Somebody's going to get open. And bam, I see. He him. heaves it deep. And he just missed him by 10. No, incomplete. Thompson was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Children's From their own 42-yard line, second down. He's going to air it long. And he got it down the sideline to the 10. Hell of a catch. Point. Fowler gets set to kick this one away. He puts it deep downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. They're going to have to rush to the line. They'll give it off here. Brought down at the 28. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Mountaineers with a huge lead. Wow. Well, I would not want to bet in that locker room at halftime. Let's see if they've got a dramatic comeback. I'll do one more. In the second half. Awesome. He's to the 10. And he's taken down at the 22. For West Virginia, things couldn't have gotten much better for them in that half. Aaron Andrews has more from the sideline. Hey, guys, their coach was very excited as he headed out onto the field. In a brief visit, he said that if this lead keeps growing, expect numerous reserves to get playing time. He feels that establishing depth is the key for any program that strives to be at the upper echelon of college football. And for Oregon State, their coach mentioned that the big plays they gave up in the first half cannot continue. Brad, back up to you. Game five on the play. That brings up second and five. 
We've got a second and five. Ball on the 27. West Virginia up by a big margin. Here's the give. Nice run to the outside. Patient. That's just on their own 30 32 yards yard line. Quick. First down. He's going to go for the home run. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well executed play. They picked a perfect time to weapon. stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. What I got him. Just another weapon. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. They give to the tailback. Makes it out to about the seven. Look, I found the bitch defender. Bam. Ran right over. First down. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And he's tackled at the seven. It's second and goal. Ball on the seven yard line. Let's go. He's taken down around the two yard line. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. West Virginia is winning big. Here comes the pressure. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Back row QB got a running TD now, too. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a seven-play, 78-yard yeah. drive, was a pleasure. and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense Next did week, a really we got nice a big job game against Ron down. play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most I'm of the sure drive because be of the versatility. The he's probably mad because I've been on the other down. As his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. I'll be ready. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Right, I'll bring it back to see the player of the game. I'm sure it's going to be the backup. <sighs> As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Pretty comfortable win, right about what we expected. This was a strong effort. West Virginia earned themselves a quality win. These guys weren't necessarily a pushover, and they played a pretty good game, but the better team won. EA Sports congratulates this young man for his fine performance and his award for player of the game. For the Mountaineers, they're off to a 2-0 start, and they're going to look to keep their momentum going. All right, going. so it's my wide receiver, three TDs, 100 yards, Tyrell well, Ben. I want to thank you for tuning in for another game of NCAA Football 13. For ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports, in conjunction with EA Sports, and my partners, Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews, Bring on Ron Nessler saying, see you next time. Ah, man, that was, that was too easy. I'm sure it is for everybody, though. <sighs> I got my boy looking like paint, man. And I got my wide receiver looking like Steve Smith, five foot eleven. More like Golden Tate, honest. Ugh.